Hi everyone, I'm so glad that you joined this webinar and in this webinar we are going to see all things related to TechZot desktop app, all the new features which are we are we are rolling out and then we'll discuss the roadmap, what is coming next in TechZot desktop app and I'm sure that like you would have seen the announcement that I that I made yesterday. So you are going to get unlimited execution time on TechZot desktop app for a fixed monthly price which is great. And if you are a LTD member, you don't need to worry about anything. You are going to get unlimited execution time for free, right? So uh, that that is, I hope that is a great news. And uh, yeah, so regarding today's webinar, we are going to cover all, all the, the TechZot desktop app walkthrough. We are going to discuss all the features that we have, what is coming next, and then we'll run some automations for all the platforms. So right now we have Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Quora, Google Maps. We are going to run one automation for each. So let's get started. And you know the best part, we have the whole team today in comments. So anything that you face, any questions, any queries, any issues that you faced while running the automations, the whole team will, team will be there to answer all your questions. So make sure to drop, com, uh, drop your queries in comments and we'll be happy to uh, answer all those queries. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, feel free to try uh, with me as, as I run the automations. You can pause it or yeah, you can, you can watch it and then you can try it on your own. So make sure to try things on your own. This is really important. So I, I'll be showing you how it works. You can try it on your own. And if you, if you are facing any issues, just drop them in comments. Okay. Yeah. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to show you how to um, how to update your Texo app. So uh, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the old version, which is 0.1.7, and then uh, I'll be showing you how it gets updated to um, 0.1.8. As you can see, I'm just like uh, I just moved the Texo app to applications folder. Now I'm going to open the app. So uh, one thing that I uh, would like to show is that you may get a warning initially when you install the app for the first time so there is a small fix for that and uh, yeah so you can see this is the warning that you may receive when you uh, install the app for the first time so to fix this just um, click ok and then go to uh, your finder if you are in mac and then uh, go to texo in applications and then do a right click and select open when you click open, it will show you an app, uh, option to open the app as well. So this is just a small fix right now. Since uh, our app is not available in App Store, you need to do this one step um, and uh, to fix this part. So uh, let's just open the app. Yeah, so now we are uh, inside Texo app. And um, yeah, so since I was like, I had logged in before, uh, so it it, uh, it 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 was able to like open the app and now what what happened is that it since there was a new update it closed the app and now it's, it's installing the app um, yeah so uh, if there is any new update what will happen is that text uh, app will show and there is like update available and then uh, it will install up uh, in, install like automatically install start it will automatically start downloading the uh, new version and then once it's downloaded it will close the app and these uh, and you just need to reopen it to get, see the new updated version so uh, I since app downloaded for new version for me and now I'm going to reopen it and see the new version so uh, let's see yeah so here you can see the new version is 0 0.1.8 so automation like updates are like really easy for you now you don't have to worry about updates it will automatically get updated whenever a new version uh, is released right so uh, this is something really good um, and you will get a notification that a new update is available and would you like to download you can click on yes or no i had clicked on yes and now it's it, it downloaded the app or new update for me okay let's talk about the new uh, features that we have uh, in this update so let me just open uh, a note yeah so cookie gets saved so this is something really big uh, because now you don't need to add cookies every single time so this is a really big update you fill cookies for any one platform in any one spices once and then it will be available for that platform in all the automations right for example uh, if I go to Facebook 
uh, since I had like added the cookie uh, uh, few few minutes ago, now that cookie is available for me, right? If I go to any other automation on Facebook, uh, let's go to uh, maybe yeah this company about us page. You can see the cookies already filled for me, right? So no more manual cookies all the time. Just write uh, fill the cookies once and it will be available for you, unless and until that cookie gets expired, right? So this is a really major update since a lot of people were uh, mentioning that we have to get cookies manually every single time it's a it's a and definitely it was not ideal that we wanted right so um, now this with this new update cookie you will only need to fill once and then it will be available for for you always as long as that cookie doesn't expire so this is a really major update and let's see what is next so switch to see co column available for run from csv to google sheet so uh, this is also like really important um, whenever you are using csv or google sheet uh, you can match the columns and select column it was not available before um, in in uh, in the previous version so now we added like select column you can select any one column uh, in in csv and google sheet as well so the mapping and uh, mapping of csv in google sheet is now much more easier then app size half yeah this is like a major major uh, release um, that we did uh, because uh, previously what was happening was that Texas app size was almost like 950 some MBs which was like almost close to 1 GBs but now the best part is that now the app size has reduced to around 400 MBs which is like great right it, it uh, we try to reduce like app size as much as possible and then with this update app size has been reduced to up to like 50 percent so this is a major update that we are rolling out in text or desktop app and now can get spice limits from desktop yeah so this is really another uh, major one where you can set limits for um, any automation right inside text or desktop app as well so you just need to go to your accounts and select configure limits and you can select all the limits change limits lower the limit or increase the limit as per your convenience this was not available before with this new update it will be available for you okay and then notification on spice complete and file download so we added two different notifications one when uh, uh, no, a spice has been completed and second notification will be when uh, your all the results you have been uploaded to texo cloud so every single thing do that you do right now will get uploaded automatically to texo cloud so that it is available for you uh, on texo cloud as well if you want to do some uh, processing further processing using some recipes or integrations texo cloud will help you in doing that right so we upload all the results that you are getting from texo desktop app to texo cloud this is definitely a big update uh, whatever you are doing any results that you are getting will be automatically saved and uploaded on texo cloud and now log fixed will now appear properly on running execution so uh, yeah this was something uh, which was kind of like a, a really uh, i would say buggy where uh, like it was kind of like a frustrating some for me as well where uh, every time when you uh, open the log it will um, show you the same log again and then it will load the new so now we fix that uh, so for example if i show you um, leave search results um, and click open logs uh, now you can see the logs gets properly loaded right it's it's previously it was not happening pro before so we fixed that now you don't need to like just open once and it you, it will it won't show you like previous log again and again it will show you like properly all the logs how your spice went so this is definitely a big fix um, right click to cut copy paste so definitely this is something that uh, everyone wanted um, Previously, what was happening was many people reported that they were not able to uh, cut, copy, or paste anything in Texo Desktop app. So now I'll be showing you the right click feature where if you do a right click, you can see these three features which is copy, paste, and cut. So you can definitely copy now and paste anything and cut anything in Desktop app. So I hope this makes your life much more easier. Previously, the paste was not working for many people, copy was not working for few people. So now we added three proper options, copy, cut and paste. So I hope this is uh, this is going to be really useful for you. Yeah, so this was all the new updates that uh, we rolled out uh, in this update.
and let's see what is coming next and then we'll start working on uh, we start going through all the uh, overview of the whole platform and run some automations so let's go to um, roadmap and see what is coming so today is 2nd july and in the next 10 days we are going to re uh, release recipe support in texo desktop app definitely a major release that um, definitely a lot of people were wanted so uh, recipe is coming to desktop in in next 10 days and right after that uh, texo prospector will be released uh, where it will be like you can pass the company name and company like job roles that you would like to search and Texo Prospector will give you like emails and all the details like profile URL, uh, their name, location, company and all that stuff. So Prospector is coming to Texo Desktop as well in I think like yeah in 20 days. And uh, in on around like August 15, you're going to get the first major release of Texo Matrix for Instagram and LinkedIn. Uh, if you don't know about Texo Matrix, I talked about that uh, in our um, in our Facebook group where metrics will allow you to pull all the analytics about in your things which are happening on LinkedIn and Instagram. Basically people who are following you, everyday people who unfollow you, who unfollowed you and uh, what is happening on LinkedIn, how many likes you are getting on your post, how many people commented, who had commented um, and then all the basic analytics to grow your, your Instagram and LinkedIn account will be available using Texo metrics. So this is a definitely a new product, new add-on that we are releasing in Texo desktop uh, around like mid uh, mid August, and then yeah, so after like a month, Texo metrics will be available for Twitter and Quora as well. Uh, right now we are not focusing on Facebook, because I, we still need to define what parameters we need to find on Facebook, and I'll be communicating with uh, with the whole community about it. And once we confirm that we have all these metrics that we would like to measure. In Facebook we will work on that um, yeah so around like mid October you are going to get Texo engage for LinkedIn and uh, previously I was calling it Texo hooks but um, uh, uh, the whole team like we didn't like the name so now we, we are going to call it Texo engage Texo engage will going to define like how many how people are engaging to your product to your post to your uh, images on on different social media platforms and what you need to do after that maybe if someone unfollowed you on Instagram you want to send a message and ask them why what happened right and uh, if someone had people have commented on a LinkedIn post and you may want to reply to them uh, in a separate message on LinkedIn saying that hey thank you for commenting on my post and um, here's the guide that you wanted right so Texo engage is going to be uh, like only focus on like how we can engage people who are interacting with your um, social media accounts, right? People who are following you, unfollowing you, they are sending you messages, they are liking your posts, they are viewing your profiles, they are commenting on things that uh, you have posted on Instagram or LinkedIn. So Texo Engage is going to be all about that. We are going to talk to every single people who are going to uh, engage with your content. So that is what Texo Engage is going to do. So yeah, I think October, November, uh, last three months, we are going to focus on Texo Engage. And uh, Texo Engage will be first initially launched for LinkedIn, then we will launch for Instagram, then Twitter and Facebook. And around like mid-December, uh, we are going to release something new which will be announced later. And yeah, at the end of the year, we are going to do a uh, year in review and uh, do something that uh, will make uh, just just bring uh, make make everyone happier so maybe like some delivering some some something to everyone uh, in the community and in, uh, every user that we have and uh, rolling out something really really new uh, that we will we will not talk about it right now so uh, just that is a like top secret yeah so this was like the roadmap that um, we have so next six, six months we are going to focus on Texo Matrix and Texo Engage. Uh, once Prospector and the recipes are available uh, in desktop, uh, I think I forgot to mention here that LinkedIn message sequence, uh, drip campaigns, we are going to have that uh, as a separate feature as well. So you can create drip campaigns for LinkedIn, uh, for Instagram, and for Facebook as well. Uh, I think I, I didn't mention that, but right after Prospector, LinkedIn message sequence will be coming here and right after LinkedIn message sequence we are going to add that for Facebook and Instagram as well so 
you will be able to create drip campaigns for uh, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Uh, and uh, it will you will be able to add weights, uh, message, and uh, if someone has replied, uh, that drip campaign will stop automatically. So message sequence is coming to desktop right after prospector. So yeah, I think this is it. Um, six months, next six months, totally focused on Texo metrics, Texo engage, and uh, rolling out message sequences for all the platforms. Okay. Now in in next part, I'll be talking about Texo app um, and all the things, how everything is organized, and then we'll run some automations. Okay. So yeah, let's move on to that part. Okay, so uh, without wasting any any moment, let's get quickly uh, on the whole overview of Texo Desktop app and how everything is organized. So uh, whenever we you will open the app, this is the first screen that you will see, and here we have all the automations, right? Same as what whatever things which which were there on Texo Cloud, we have everything same on Desktop app as well. So first page you will always see is the automation page. Here you will you can see all the automations that we have right and then on the top we have this support and then um, tutorials then how many time is left for you in in, in the day uh, release notes notifications whatever you're running you can see the notifications here and then if you go to accounts page you you, you will have accounts configure limits and logout button right so this is like on the top uh, in the sidebar we have spices results page crm spice request and roadmap so when we release a recipe in prospector, it will be available uh, in uh, here. So uh, we'll add menus, recipes and prospector and it will be available for you. And rest of the things are very same. Uh, if you go to results page, you can see all the results that you did and then you can filter out the results from here, completed, failed or running. Then uh, yeah, so recipe is not available yet. Uh, if you go to CRM, you can see all the things that you have run in the past and all the data. So um, that is there, then spice request, if you want to request some automation, you can request from here. And let's go to our uh, accounts page. On accounts page, we have uh, everything same as Texo Cloud. Uh, you get your um, account details here. Variables uh, will be stored here. Notifications, then you can see we don't have proxy here since proxy is not required for Texo desktop. And, um, then yeah subscriptions needs to be managed on texo cloud so we don't have subscriptions here and then you can go to configure limits where you will see all the limits for different automations and if you want to edit any limit you can do so from here so uh, for example uh, to like a link instagram post current limit is 40 i'm going to make it 30 and then you have two options one is hourly or daily if you want to do maybe like uh, uh five likes uh, on different Instagram post every single like hour you can type five and select hourly right so that will be like um, hour uh, based on like hours limit and right now I just want to keep 30 uh, for daily lim as of my daily limit so I'll just type 30 and click submit and this will get changed for me so you can change limit of any aut automation from account configure limits page so this is really important now let's go to any spice page uh, Let's open this one. So as I had mentioned that now cookies will be automatically filled for you. You don't need to fill that again. So as you can see, cookies are there. And then here you will see the, all the inputs exactly same as what you have in Texo Cloud. And then you can see one, one major change here. You don't have a proxy button here. So proxy is not required. So we don't have that button here. Then CSV and Google Sheet, same as what we have on Texo Cloud. And then whatever you will run, it will be shown here on the same page for example um, if i do this you can see all my logs here right um and you can click on results to see the results how many how many time it took like seven seconds here then platform the name you can change the name from here so i can type um, test desktop and click save it will be done for me so you can name each your execution which is like really good feature so yeah, this is the automation page and uh, once we release uh, recipes, I'll be talking about that as well. So yeah, now it's time for us to run some automations. Uh, so today we are going to run 10 different automations for 
different platforms using text or desktop app and without using our proxies so let's get started okay so now i'm going to run two automations for twitter and first one i'm going to do twitter advanced search and second i'm going to uh, extract followings of any twitter account so let's open twitter advanced search and uh, this is like really really important automation uh, it gives you a lot of data about anything which is happening on twitter let's see how to do it so this only the best part is that it doesn't require a cookie so you can just go to like twitter advanced search on twitter do your search grab the url paste it here and done this will give you all the data so let's just try it since i don't know to uh, advanced url uh, search url i'm going to search it twitter advanced yeah twitter.com slash search dash advanced this is the url i'm going to type maybe uh, let's talk about linkedin uh, or let's talk about scraping this is this will be helpful for me as well after um, this webinar so i just search scraping uh, click on latest and now i can see like all the people who are talking about scraping um, and let me just mention scraping linkedin and this gives me like all the people who are talking about linkedin scraping right and uh, i'm going to copy this url from here i think this has become now i think like this um, basic search but we need to do advanced so um, let's just search that okay so i'm uh, on the advanced search page and here i'm just going to type um, uh, lead generation and try to find all the tweets which contains this word so lead generation let's see click on latest and these are like all the tweets right which are talking about lead generation so i'm going to copy this url from here come back to texo paste it here and in the max count for now i'm just going to type uh, 10 and click on extract tweets i'll 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 tell tell you the uh, steps again so i'll tell you the steps again first i opened advanced search url which is search dash advanced and then i typed the keyword i copied the url came back to texo pasted this url and here you can type max count whatever you want maybe tag uh, 10 5 anything we, we can pull up to 100 tweets and then click on extract tweets right so as you can see i already got the notification that it's completed so let's click on results and see what we got so you can see here uh, we got all the people who are talking about leads right um lead generation lead generation lead generation so this was my keyword now after uh, this webinar i'm going to check these tweets and maybe reach out to these people who are who can be like our targeted like potential customer right so uh, tutor advanced search is really important uh, really good one and in future what we are going to do in this we are going to add uh, slack alerts and email alerts and give you like list of tweets which contains some keywords and then you can uh, reach check those tweets or anyone from your team can check those tweets and like talk to that people or uh, find that person send a message and try to convert them uh, into leads right so it's going to be really important automation now let's extract some followers or uh, followings so idea is behind like following and followers is that you can need to extract all the followers and then uh, find them on linkedin and do all the other automation right so followers and following is really important uh, since i have i have not added like cookie uh, i need to add my cookie and then it, it, it will it should be available in all the twitter automations so let's head over to twitter and uh, find any uh, account um, let's try uh, anyone who is talking about things um, maybe like i'll just select slack and extract some followers of slack so slack url i'm going to copy this paste it here auth token i need so i'm going to click on texo extension copy the token paste it here in terms of followers i'm going to write for now 
I'm going to type uh, maybe 50 um, and this gives you like new data on every single run so you can run it again and again to get the new data right so let's just run this and see what we get so as you can see now it's, it's running and uh, it should take just a few few minutes uh, maybe like one one or two minute and give me all the data and after twitter maybe we can try linkedin and then yeah so it's it's completed okay it says that um, maybe the new cookies required so let's just try let's go to crm and see what we have see here oh no so it already pulled all the profiles for me um yeah so all the profiles i already got all the profiles um i i wanted 50 followers so i got 50 followers and maybe like after pulling all the followers i'm going to check which uh, if they anyone who's like a co-founder or anyone who owns an agency and then do some um, lead generation work right after this so yeah this was twitter and uh, after this we are going to try linkedin automation and then we'll try facebook and most probably we'll just run um, one or two automation of quora and product hunt and then we'll we'll uh, end end this webinar okay so let's move to uh, facebook automations and see how it works okay so uh, now i'm going to run three different automations for facebook and then we'll run two automations for linkedin and then we'll end this call uh, I won't be running uh, Product Hunt and Quora. I'll, I'll create a separate video, uh, maybe like this because uh, it because like it will get longer uh, today. So uh, we'll create separate videos for Quora and Product Hunt and share that with you. So let's run some automations on Facebook. Uh, first one I'm going to try is uh, extract co Facebook company pay about us page. So let's let's run this one. I'm going to head over to um, Facebook and. Copy this URL. Sorry, copy this cookies, and then for the page URL, uh, let let's find thoughtbot. This is a very good uh, company, uh, and they have a very good page as well on Facebook so let's just copy this and run it I added like about us page URL and now I click on extract about us page they should uh, pull all the details on this company about us page and return back to me and still then this is running let's uh, head over to um, maybe a uh, group member extractor and uh, run or extract all the group members from any facebook group so i'll head over to here and in facebook group url I'll, i'm just going to pass my own texoc group and pull members so let's add group url here in numbers i'm just going to um, write 40 and click extract members now this will run the automation for me and uh, yeah so continuing all education connected as Vikesh pulling all the members and yeah so as you can see uh, one one thing which is very really important for uh, you to see is that cookies are like automatically filled for you right so now like for all the different automations you only need maybe like URLs group URL post URL or um, uh, any about us page URL right you only need the URLs since cookies are like they are like resolved you don't need to fill the cookies again and again so as you can see um, I already got the notification that it's completed so yeah, I got the members from uh, my own Facebook group as well so so this was quite easy I think right you only need paste your post URL, post URL 
page url and since cookies are already failed for you you don't need to do anything just click on update just fill input and click run and it will give you all the data now let's head over to linkedin and uh, run, run some few few automations so first one i'm going to try is sales navigator lead search which is really, really important if you are is using sales navigator account since i'm using this for the first time i need to add my cookie and then i should be able to run all the automations related to linkedin for sales navigator so let's head over to sales navigator account and here I'm going to do some search. Um, let's find agencies um, and in geography, I need to find agencies which are in in US or maybe like I would say in um, in Los Angeles. So just click on Los Angeles. Yeah, so I need to, uh, I want to contact all the people, all the agencies which are in LA. So um, just, grabbing all the details and I don't want third degree connection I want second degree because uh, I want to make sure that I get accepted uh, when I send them connection request so I want all the second degree connections I'm going to copy this URL from here come back to Texo paste search URL here then session cookie I need so I'll click on Texo Chrome extension copy the uh, cookie paste it here since I'm running this automation so I'll just write uh, for now I'll just write 25 and click extract you can pull up to 2500 so um, it's, a, it's, it's a maximum limit that uh, you will get on LinkedIn since they, they only show you like 2500 uh, profiles on, on any any on any search results so that's the limit that you, you will see anywhere so as you can see getting 462 but we only need 25 so you should be able to pull 25 in just few seconds yeah there you have it it's done um, it only takes like hardly like 50 or 30 seconds to pull all the results from any page and now you can see that we got around 25 profiles right Charlie Michael Travis Michael Travis everything is done um, so this was search result just get get the cookies copy the url of all the once you add all the filters grab the url from linkedin paste it and just run it that's 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 all you need to do and now we are going to uh, scrape um, some profiles on linkedin so i'm going to um, head over to uh, scrape profile now i can see that cookies are already added and uh, I'm going to open any profile maybe let's just try this one and uh, let's paste it here and click on extract script profile so now things are much easier for me to explain only because uh, we don't need cookies like cookies are like done so just profile URL for scraping profiles any connection request you need profile URL for extracting any lead search results you only need the uh, search url so now it's only about the urls not about the cookies since that part is like salt right so things are much more easier now um, yeah so we are just scrolling all the data of the profile and in just few seconds we should have the data of uh, this profile let's decide which one to uh, I'm going to try one Quora quickly uh, before I end this call um, uh, before yeah so this is completed we just got the notification it took 51 seconds right to scrape a profile and as you can see we got all the results of that user now um, I'm just going to run one last automation uh, maybe um, let's try Quora since we are going to really uh, uh, release a new set of automations for Quora very soon uh, I want to make sure that um, you you are seeing one one Quora example as well so you, you can see cookies are already added for me um, since I was using it a uh, few uh, few hours ago now I'll head over to Quora and then I would like to extract all the followers of any com uh, any user so um, I'm going to try um, maybe let's just try uh, search growth hackers and find someone 
uh, who is very active so that I can I can use his followers to yeah Joss obviously um, let's just pull all the followers of Josh and um, then I'll be reaching out to him to all the followers and talk about tags off so let's just pull 100 followers so in for cookies you only need to uh, visit Quora and just click on tags off and it will show you the cookies just copy these cookies and paste it here add the profile URL post the numbers and click extract that's all you need to do um, fill the cookies using Chrome Chrome extension uh, get the profile URL write the number of followers you want and click on extract followers it's done let's go to results page and see the results 12 seconds and we got around 100 or something yeah around 30 40 followers right and now these are like highly targeted profiles people who are who should be um, a potential Texo customer right so I'm um, right after this call I'm going to reach uh, prepare a plan to reach out to these people and talk about Texo so we today um, we ran uh, Instagram Facebook Twitter LinkedIn Quora and uh, I think we covered almost everything in, in Dex desktop app um, and this this covers the whole overview of desktop app and we ran some automations and I showed you what is coming next in desktop so we have a lot of top things to do and uh, it is all happening because of the love and support that um, you guys are giving so thank you for that and if you liked this uh, webinar make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel because in the upcoming time we are going to release a lot of videos for you so um, make sure to um, subscribe to our channel thank you guys thank you so i hope this webinar was useful and uh, you learned some automations and you learned about Dexo desktop app and what is coming next in Dexo desktop and in the next webinar, we are going to cover Zapier and Integromat integration. And we'll talk about recipes. So it's going to be really great. So in every Thursday, I'll be coming live uh, with you uh, uh, to discuss all the new features that we are rolling out. And we'll, we'll go one level ahead of the previous event. You to subscribe to our YouTube channel for uh, like every Thursday's event. And all the automations that you saw today, make sure to try it on your own. And if you are facing any difficulties in any automation, please reach out to our support. Or you can also write to us at support at texo.com and we'll respond to all your queries right away as soon as possible. And then, uh, yeah, I think this is this is it. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll talk more in our Facebook community. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you, if you have anything else that you, you would like to discuss, maybe like a custom automation, or any feedback, any suggestions, or anything related to Texo, make sure if you can directly reach out to me, which is my email is hello at texo.com. So if you are if you have anything apart from uh, any support queries or you want to talk about any features, any new integrations, any suggestions on how we can improve Texo, you can directly reach out to me. Uh, as I mentioned, my email is hello at texo.com. Thanks guys, thank you for watching. And one last thing, don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Thank, thank you so much.